morning, everyone, and welcome to our Thanksgiving and Last Dance service. We are so glad you decided to join us this day from all over the world to be a part of this service. Here is this week's edition of the COD News. My name is Michael. For over a year now, a new campaign, a movement, if you will, has been working on the ground. A few months ago, we began to see this campaign. It's tagged, not too young to run, and it saw several youths march protest and campaign for this movement to get passed into law. On May 29th, the Democracy Day this year, the president promised to sign this bill. In a few days to come, I will be joined by many promising young Nigerians to sign into law the Not Too Young to Run bill. Two days later, on Thursday the 31st of May, the bill was finally signed. This bill allows youths from a certain age to run for any office of their choice. The law reduces age qualification for presidency from 40 to 35, while governorship and senatorial position stays at 35. House of Reps and State House of Reps from 30 to 25. And if you are looking for ways to participate in the upcoming election, start by collecting your PVC at your various local government centers and join a political party of your choice. Who knows, you might just be the next president. Now to our weekly activities. We delved into a new subject, alternative lifestyle, at our Digging for Gold service, and many questions were raised. Let's find answers to them in this next clip. Take a look. Now the Bible says they were the light of the world. Light attracts, but we find out that this world system is attractive. How many of us know that the world system is attractive? It's attractive. So how do we get our people back? Corporately, what can the church do to attract people? Because we're the light of the world. Then individually, what can you and I do? Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. I'd like to share a testimony. This is about traditional marriage in Igbo land, where in communities you are given a long list that has alcohol, tobacco, all kinds of things on the list. And when my younger sister was going to get married, um, we refused that we are, going to, we are not going to abide by that list. So it became controversial in the community and to the point where the bigger family said they were not going to attend. But we stuck to our guns. And as God will have it, the entire community has now changed. They now have two lists. So you have the list they give to Christians and the list they give to non-Christians. Hallelujah. I think he deserves two envelopes. Amen. Let's clap for pastor. Stick to your guns. You can change this culture. So there are two lists. So if you are marrying that, I just say, give me the Christian list. And I'm sure it's cheaper than the other one. It's cheaper. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We shall continue on this topic, alternative lifestyle, and draw more insights from it as we meet this Tuesday for another Digging for Gold service. Also remember that we shall be having our Holy Communion at this service. Please endeavor to attend. The handmaidings in the past few weeks have been discussing the topic spring into action. Here are major takeaways from these meetings. If you got a hundred thousand, they are meant to turn it over. If a woman can enter the White House selling more and more, I have been preaching here for a long time. I've not reached the White House. She did something and she kept multiplying it. There's no reason any one of us should not be working. An action is supposed to be exciting. A movement, a gesture. You're not meant to be in the same place that you've been for so long. You need to spring into action. Learn to be true to your calling. We are not all called to be entrepreneurs, you know. We are not all called to be employed in a multinational, you know. We are not all called to be banker. Event planning. Are uh, you? You've changed jobs like 10 times. She's always springing. Yes. By <laughs> Everybody could find something to do if you look hard enough. Some of 
course we excel in, our, in what we went to read in school, but it's not everything. Some will find something, their hobbies will actually make a way for them, and a greater way. What are your giftings? Do you even have an idea what your gifts are? Being multi-talented is how God has created us, really. So tell me. Praise the Lord. Um, I actually like dancing. I like gardening. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of flowers. Mm -hmm. um, I can sew. Mm -hmm. I can teach. Mm -hmm. um, wait, wait, wait a minute. Why do you think of talents in terms of hobbies? No, I, I think of Are you thinking of it in terms of making profit? No, I think of mine in terms of inspiring others. No, no. I don't want you to inspire. You can inspire me from now until tomorrow. I won't make money. I'm looking for the talent that turns into profit. Like singing, gardening can turn into profit. Absolutely. Talking can turn into profit. Yes. I do a lot of talking. What else do you say you do? <laughs> I do a lot of talking. Dancing. Dancing, ah, yes. They are dancing now in Nigeria. Yes. Ah. Yes. They the are world. dancing everywhere. Yes. And it's turning into millions of naira and dollars. Do you see the use of talent? Are you seeing? They said, so, the, the, the man was going away. And he gave to his servants talent. To some he gave five, to some he gave two. And as he went, they all, after they had received the money, you need to read the old scripture, they, dug, uh, they worked with their talents. Then the Lord of came back to his servants. And he said, what happened to the five talents I gave you? What happened to the five talents I gave you? They will be meeting again this Wednesday from 12.30 p.m. for another glorious time of fellowship. Sisters, please endeavor to be there. The countdown is on as the clock ticks away to Friday the 22nd of June when various women from all walks of life will join our host, Pastor Shiju Iliumade. The keynote speakers for this conference are Rear Admiral Itunu Hotonu and Mrs. Olufunke Adekoya. The conference tag, Leading Women, Breaking Barriers, will hold at the Echo Hotels and Suites from 10 a.m. For registrations, please visit the website showing on the screen. You can now catch up on the teachings and activities of our own Pastor Shiju Iluyamade on various media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube with the handle Shiju Iluyamade. The Carpe Diem is an early morning fellowship of worshippers who set out to seize the day in place of prayers, worship, and the word. This holds at the following centers on various days and times of the week, showing on the screen. The 2018 Festival of Life in Malaysia was successful. The event tag, Let the Fire Fall, took place at the Christian Conference Center, Kuala Lumpur, from the 25th to the 27th of May, 2018. 
it was a night of miracles and testimonies. We thank God for the harvest of souls. Well over 300 souls were saved. To the glory of God, eight ministers from the city of David, Philippines, were ordained as full pastor, deacons, and deaconesses. We thank all our partners that supported COD Missions for this event. May the Lord continue to bless you more abundantly in Jesus' name. The Networks Business Club, in partnership with Deck Academy, organized a five weeks training in masonry, bar bending, and formwork carpentry. Interested members who are yet to register are encouraged to do so. Please register at the network stand downstairs or call the number on the screen. This next video you are about to see has been the most talked about in this past week. It shows the selfless love of just a passerby, which yielded into a great result. Take a look. A country that is now praising him as a hero. Now, this is the, the video. This all took place on Saturday. Gassama jumping into action after seeing that child described by witnesses as a young boy dangling from the balcony of a building. Now, Gassama scaled that building. He used his own hands and limbs, risking life and limb. He ascended four floors in less than a minute. He grabbed the child, got him to safety. There you see it right there. And with that, let's take a listen to Gassama as he describes what happened. We came here to watch the football match at a restaurant. I saw a lot of people yelling. Cars were honking. I got out and I saw the child who was about to fall from the balcony. I like children, so I will hate to see him get hurt in front of me. I ran and I thought of ways to save him and thank God I scaled the front of the building to that balcony. Uh, Macron called him a national hero and, and bear in mind this is a man that's only been in France now for a few months and after their discussion today Heather this is the fairy tale ending that you were talking about uh, Macron announced that Kassama will be made a citizen of France so that's going to happen not only that he's going to have a job very fittingly he's going to uh, have a job with the Parisian fire brigade uh, certainly he's physically fit enough to be a firefighter Heather. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> indeed there is no greater love than for a man to lay down his life for a friend. And on this note, we pray that Thanksgiving shall never, ever cease in our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true, where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today.